What's happening everybody? Ray here, coming back with another Final Fantasy VII Remake video. This time it's kind of a little bit of discussion, a little bit of speculation, a little bit of uh, theorizing on my part. I wanted to talk about a couple of things that not everybody's really talking about right now. Uh, specifically, exploration uh, of the, the Midgar maps, what we can look forward to in that, and also what it might unlock, and that kind of segues into the discussion I want to have about boss battles and how I think those are going to work in the game. Um, because there's, from what I can tell, there are four different types of bosses in the game. And we'll get into that. But anyway, if you all haven't already subscribed to the channel, I got a lot of new stuff coming. I got a lot of, th I got a few things coming today, actually, later on today. Um, and we're doing a lot of cool stuff over on Twitch. So I got some things happening. So subscribe, hit the like button if you're into the video. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about was the exploration kind of Midgar, the map. They've confirmed that there are different areas that you can access through finding breakable walls, different sections that you can get to by traversing the different means, like different modes of transportation, finding different modes of transportation. And basically, uh, the big one, though, is breaking down walls. And I thought that was a really cool point to cover because there's a section in the uh, Tokyo Game Show trailer that shows Barrett smashing down some walls here, yeah, right here. And they talked about this briefly, and it's just just briefly. But basically, you can clear away areas to get to new sections. This right here looks underground. This looks like the, maybe the underground railway, a section of that maybe. And right here, Barrett's cleared away some stuff. Now, what does this mean for gameplay? Basically, what I think it means finding new areas, finding new items. Uh, it could be a small area, like a small room or whatever, a small section, or it could be a whole other area of the map that you get to. Possibilities are endless on this, but I do think you'll find like some, uh, some more challenging enemies, more challenging bosses, and I think some side quests might lead you onto these places with uh, hidden walls and things too. So I think the side quests will play a big role in the exploration of the game, exploring different areas you wouldn't normally go to, and finding out some of the secrets that are hidden therein. Uh, modes of transportation, you got trains, you got cars, there might be some some flight capability, like a helicopter you can take to different areas of Midgar, like who knows, Shinra probably controls all the helicopters and stuff, but I, I think you know if there's like some civilian craft you can use that to get from place to place within Midgar. Now I don't think you'll actually fly control over the whole of Midgar, I think it'll show you a map and different sections you can go to. I think it will be limited in that capacity, just my theory. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I hope I am because I'd love to see all the areas, but I know we won't be able to traverse all of Midgar. Uh, they talk about some new areas. So there's a new interview out right now that I just started reading while I was actually uh, getting ready to work on this video. And that's a video that will be coming later today. One of the big things, uh, the takeaways that I've seen so far that nobody's really talking about is exploration. Getting to different areas, getting to different places. And that'll be part of the fun of the game too, is like finding these places, you know, 100 hundred percenting this thing, platinuming this thing, because that that's one of my goals when I get my, this in my hands in less than three weeks. Less than three weeks, people, it's gonna be here. So I think we're at, what are we at, like 18 days or something like that? I think it's 18 days. So yeah, super hyped for that. Super hyped for that. Leading into bosses. Now, this is a thing I've been wanting to talk about for a little bit. I wanted to make a video, so I figured I would smash these two things together and make one video so you all don't have to click through a bunch of different videos to get just a few points. Bosses. I think how they're going to work in this game. First off, you've got, I think you're going to have four major types of bosses in the game. Four major types of enemies, period. You have humans, you have machines, you're going to have monsters, and you're going to have ethereal beings, like otherworldly beings, like Genova or a summon or something would go into that category for me. I wouldn't consider those monster battles. I would consider those like, that's, that's a higher grade than a monster battle. That is more of like an ethereal creature, ethereal being battle. Like, think battling like uh, the Aeons in uh, Final Fantasy X. Uh, that, that kind of thing. So, um, we know we get Reno at least twice. We get Rude, we get Roche, Rufus most likely at the end of the game. Okay, those are for the humans. Other human battles we could possibly get, who knows? They might throw a Heidegger battle in there of some kind. They might throw 
a battle with another character in there that we don't know right now. I mean, there could be a few different human battles, you know. We, we could get like a battle at Honey Bee Inn with the, the leader of Honey Bee. I mean, we don't, we don't know yet. Uh, but what I do feel like I know is, okay, so where do the summons come from? Where do you get your summons? How do you acquire them? Yeah, you could find them on a pedestal or some special thing. But I have a theory, and I could be off on this, but I have a theory that you will actually get summons used against you in battle. Like some of the higher end boss battles, like the Turks or, you know, uh, I don't think Roche would be that high end. But I think if you're thinking Turks, you're thinking humans, they might have some summons. And I think at least one of the summons might be a reward from beating a human boss battle. I think that could be the case. Also, if you have a boss battle where you actually have to battle a summon to attain its materia, I think that could work too. Uh, I think those would be really cool ways to get more meat out of the game, to, to get more depth into it, and to really have fun with the boss battles, you know, attacking them in a different way. And all four of these types of battles, I think you'll have to attack in different ways. So the machines, of course, we've already seen, you know, almost everybody's played the demo so far, and if you haven't, you know, most people at least know that the Scorpion Sentinel is the big feature piece of the demo. So you've got, we've seen Scorpion Sentinel, we've seen Airbuster, we've seen Hundred Gunner, we've seen Heli Gunner, maybe even Motorballs in there. Now this is where I think you have the, it begins the possibility for like some super hidden boss battles. Like there are all kinds of factories around Midgar. There's all kinds of like hidden secret underground like Shinra laboratories and stuff like that. I think this game has a, a wealth of potential for hidden battles for machines and monsters. So I think the machines, I, I can't find it. There was a trailer, there was a trailer or a, a presentation or something where it showed like some tank and a couple of other machines that I had no idea what they were. And some people said, oh yeah, I think this might be this, or I think this might be that, but there was no definite confirmation on it and we never saw them again. So I think they just showed them that one time. I think some of those are secret bosses. They showed them that one time in split second clips in whatever it was they put on. And I, I've looked for it. I've tried to find it again. There's been so many trailers and presentations. I can't go through all of them, but it was there. And it was right around the time of Tokyo Game Show. I th or not Tokyo Game Show, but I thought it was right around the time of um, the Game Awards. I thought. I thought it was the Game Awards trailer, but I was wrong because I went back and watched the Game Awards trailer and it wasn't in there. So I think you have the possibility of some really good like hidden boss battles with the machines. And of course you're gonna have laboratories. You're gonna have laboratories everywhere. You got a, a character, a kid uh, that works for Hojo that is running around the slums gathering intel and data for Hojo. So I'm almost 100% convinced that Hojo is gonna have some hidden secret labs here and there that you can kind of go into and raid find new materia and get new stuff and whatnot so to that point I think we're going to have a lot of monsters like different diverse types of monsters now some of this will be on hunts some of this will be um, as part of my side quest and some of this may be injected into the main storyline now we don't know yet that, that's the fun thing about this point right now with the game is that we just really don't know anything yet as far as all this stuff goes so the, that right there with the monsters, the machines, uh, with the monsters, you know, uh, we have seen uh, Abzu, Sample, uh, HO512, and that was another one of the things that we saw in that little quick snippet thing they showed, and I, I can't find it again. But anyway, I know, know I saw it, know I saw it. Pretty sure I saw it. <laughs> you got all these other monster battles and stuff that were in the original Final Fantasy VII, in the Midgar portion, and you know they're gonna add more. You know, a, a lot of the uh, side quests I believe will be that, and some of the side quests I think are gonna lead to optional big boss battles, which is awesome, which adds more meat to the game, which adds more depth and more flavor. Throw some seasoning on that thing, throw some more flavor on there, I'm all for it. Um, so, now with the different types of boss battles, you know, the humans you're gonna get rewards like weapons and materia and maybe whatever they got carrying on them. They haven't confirmed this and I have no reason to think this might be in the game, but my wishful thinking and my hope for hopes is that there's some kind of crafting system in the game. 
uh, to where you can use different materials and things you find to craft upgrades or new weapons or whatever. Uh, I really hope that that's in there because that would be a great way to get rare items or rare materials from some of these monsters, some of these optional monster bosses you would have to go and hunt. So I think uh, that would be a, a great reward for the monster aspect of the game. Then, uh, I mean machines, machines, option, like the materials from machines and stuff like that. That would be cool. Same thing with monsters though. With monsters you would get different like natural materials and stuff, raw stuff from the monsters, items they would drop or materials you would get off of them. And uh, also maybe even materia itself you could get from like a monster drop. That wouldn't make sense why a monster would be carrying materia though, so I'm not really sure about that one. Now ethereal beings, like you could have a situation where you actually fight a summon, where you actually have to uh, do battle with a summon or uh, some other ethereal being, like a Jenova that's hidden away in a lab or something like that, or like some other kind of creature. No, possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. So anyway, I just wanted to do this video real quick to speculate on that, talk about that, get y'all thinking maybe outside of the box on some things we might be expecting from the game. And based on what I've played in the demo, just what I've seen in the demo, I've played the demo through a bunch of times now, a bunch of times, over 10 times. And I have no reason to think that we, have, we, we can't be expecting these things. It seems to me like the way that demo is built, it expounds so much on that original first 10 to 15 minutes of the game. And that demo, I think there's going to be more in the finished release. I think the final build of the game is going to have more in this section. We already know that there's cutscenes skipped in that section. But I think there might be whole other areas that we can't get to yet. The whole other things and other enemies and stuff to fight on the way out because 20 minutes is way too easy for that escape. Way too easy for that escape. And some places they could add sections in if they wanted to is the time between elevator trips. The different elevator trips you take in the, uh, the demo. You could easily slot in new floors and then have to take elevators down and up and all that kind of thing. Because 20 minutes is way too easy. I, fit, I got out of there last night with 13 minutes to spare. Something like this. It was like 13, 13 and a half minutes to spare. I got out of there. So and I was ransacking through that thing. Because once you know how to fight the enemies, the game's even more fun because you're just obliterating people, you know? Uh, but anyway, I want to leave it there. I think we've got a lot more stuff coming. I think we got a lot more we can expect, even from the demo section, the bombing run. We got a lot more we can expect there. So uh, post your comments. Let me know what you all thought about this and some other things. Uh, if y'all have questions or have suggestions for me, please let me know. Uh, I am currently laid off from work, so I've got nothing but time to make content. And I'm working on other projects right now, too. So I am laid off from the coronavirus stuff. So um, if you all want to watch the videos, throw some likes, throw some shares around, that all helps. I really appreciate it. You all have a great day. I will see you all here in just a little bit, again, with another video and on a twitch.tv slash Ray Kaufman stream later tonight. You all have a great day. Keep rocking, and I will see you all in the next video. And be good to each other.